atheism has risen by 60%. The rate of suicide has also risen in this land. Answer me that if you're an atheist. Someone answer it. Sorry? Yeah, that's, uh, thank you for your intelligent response, my friend. Okay, But that's the question we all need to ask. Why is it? Why is it that atheism has risen? May I say something controversial now? When your grandparents were teenagers, let me ask you this, were there more or less suicides than there are today? So when your, when your grandparents were young, do you think the rate of suicide has increased or decreased? Well, if we're honest, there's a lot more suicides today, isn't there? A lot more. Why is that? Our kids, they go into the science lessons and they're told, oh, you're just an animal, you're just an accident. They go into the physics lesson, oh, you came from an explosion. And all of our kids are walking around saying, is there any meaning? Is there any purpose? Does anybody love me? Atheism is killing our children. I'm sorry, I've been silent for long enough, but it is. Atheism is ruining our society. It is, it's destroying our society. And Brian Cox and Richard Dawkins, they might look like nice, educated people, but they're spewing out rubbish. Sorry. But they're spewing out rubbish to the masses. Millions of people are hearing this, that, that there's no God and that no one loves them. What happened to the days when you used to be taught in schools that God loved you, that he sent his son Jesus to die on a cross? Do you know what the difference is between an atheist and a Christian. Okay, I'm a Christian now, and I believe that God created the world, that he loves you, that he, he put purpose and value in every single one of your lives, and he sent Jesus to die on a cross. But the atheists believe that everything came from God, that there's no value, there's no purpose. And if you take that to its logical conclusion, well, the logical thing is that the, the dog book that you stepped on last week is just as valuable as the person who is staring back into the mirror every day. All that being aside, now I'm going to say something a little bit embarrassing in public now, okay? Have a good look at this man in front of you now. Have a good look at this, okay? Do you think that this person in front of you has ever had deeply suicidal views? I have. And I'm saying to you that I have had those thoughts, but I believe I've got the answer here. Now, if we've got this board here, everyone going by, we've got the six most hated people to walk on planet Earth. I wonder if anyone knows who number two is. That's Ted Bundy, we've got Chairman Mao, we've got the Moors killers. These are wicked, wicked people. And I'm going to do a social experiment now. We're going to do something a little bit interesting. Are you ready for it? Okay. Everyone now take a look to your left. Everyone take a look to your right. Take a mental picture of everyone who's standing here right now because in a moment's time I'm going to reveal number six and I guarantee that at least one person will walk up when I turn number six over because you hate this person more than all of these people put together. But if you do walk up, you do a favour for me. It was said about this person that they hated me without a reason. So as you walk up, you just do a favour and say, what is the reason why I don't like this person? Are you ready for it?
Without the shedding of blood, there can be no forgiveness of sins. Without Jesus, none of us have any hope beyond the grave. And that same Jesus rose from the grave, dying there for all of us. I hope you can see this. I'm not your enemy, this street preacher. in one minute time. One final challenge to the atheist, to the skeptic. What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? What would you think of me? If I said Harry Potter is the worst book in the world, what would you think of me? You'd agree, okay? What if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before, what would you think of me then? And then make a judgment. Please don't ever say the Bible's a load of rubbish without reading it first. And right now, in front of you, I'm going to offer you a portion of the Bible for free. If anyone wants it, come and take it from my hands. Don't be shy. If you want to take it, come and